What helps you live in the present moment? Can we do some type of activity that helps? Meditation helped me in the past. Ooh, I actually just wrote my first medita. I'm going to be doing a guided. I'm going to lead a guided meditation. When? Thursday. Uh, no, today. Like I'm going to film it. Oh, yep. Interesting. Yep, I'm going to film it today. There's a there's a track, and I'm going to I'm going to record the audio, my voice talking about it's it's a. It's a morning guided meditation to set your day with intention. I'm excited. I, I had a moment of flow today. It's coming. Is this a YouTube video? Uh, it will be, but it's it's meant to be a meditation. So you're, you know, you're closing your eyes while you do it. But we'll have we'll throw some visuals on there. But oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah, it will be a YouTube video. I have Name to license channel? the music. Um, yeah, probably, probably oh. put it up there. Play with it. A little experiment. So, but meditation in general for present moment isn't isn't something that i lean in on a lot to be honest um i don't struggle with that so i don't really need a lot of techniques and strategies um this is why meditation you know this is a great video um today so we're doing a, a gargopal das top 10 most success video and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna mess up the 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 language but he's basically talking about um, there's two kinds of meditations and when he first started and he's a monk right when he first yeah. started he was doing mantra based meditation with the beads so mantra you're just saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and you have i don't know what i don't know what the beads do i think they just count how many times you've said it but i could be wrong um and he said he kept getting distracted doing that he kept getting distracted doing kind of the forced meditation but what he aims for is to have meditation as a part of life like this is meditation for me i'm i'm talking to you answering your question i don't i don't i don't know what i'm doing the rest of the night i mean talking meditation video i don't know what day it is i remember making i made a video today for dave hollis because i i need him to say watch the top 10 with believe nation and i i i, I text him a video and i lead with um dave it's evan uh happy I don't even know what day it is. You know what? It doesn't matter. Hey, I need you to make me. <laughs> I went to my physical yesterday and um, she asked how old I was. And I, and I said, I don't know. What year is it? Is it 2021? Wait, what year is it? <laughs> wow. Oh, and she's, my Lord. And she's like, uh, do we need to test your memory here as well? <laughs> <laughs> like, and you're like, I don't oh, know. This is, this is, you're like, no, this is pretty this normal. Is, this is me. normal life. I don't know what year it is. I don't know when I was born. I don't know how old I am. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Like, I'll just, so I think there's a lot of benefits to it. I used to, I used to judge myself a lot more for it and feel bad. Like, why don't I remember these things? Everybody else seems to remember these things, but I don't for some reason. Um, now I embrace it. And since embracing it, it's been even better. Like I'm, I'm almost proud that I don't know what year it is or what day it is um, or how old I am or any of that stuff. I don't think that stuff really matters. Um, so I don't really need techniques or strategies. I think, I think it's, it's harder for me to share this because I, don't, I haven't gone through it. So if you ask me about how to be an entrepreneur, or how, how do you get through being introverted or shy or whatever, it's like, oh, well, I, I mean, I live all that. This one is a little harder. So meditation has not been a huge part of my life, um, but I know it can be for others because it does bring you back to the present. I think the trick, or at least the easiest one, is whenever you catch yourself being either worried about the future, you know, if you're thinking, if you're not in the present, what are you doing? If you're excited about the future, great, go for it. But if you're anxious about the future, which is often what happens, or when you're thinking backwards, it's usually not because of gratitude. It's usually because you're... Um, in regret, you know? If you're grateful for what happened to you or you're excited about the future, then it's okay not to be in the present because you're experiencing good emotions. But it's when you regret the past or you're anxious or worried or afraid about the future that it doesn't serve you to be stuck there. Um, so whenever you catch it, you just bring yourself back to the present. Like, what are you doing right now? And it could be simple things like, okay, I'm washing the dishes. There's a great Thich Nhat hot, um, uh, story where there's some people who come over. Thich Nhat is a, I think he's Vietnamese monk, and um, there's people who came over to to uh, study with him. And at the end of a the night, they were having dinner at his place, and he told them um, he was about to go do the dishes. And then somebody said, 
uh, I'll do the dishes for you. Don't worry. I mean, you you taught us all day. You you go relax with everybody. I'll do the dishes. And then as the guy was doing the dishes, he was um, trying to join the conversation and be part of it and listen in. And, and then and Thich Nhat Hot told him, um, if you're going to do the dishes, you do the dishes. Like doing the dishes to do the dishes. Don't be don't be thinking about what comes next. We're always worried about the next thing as opposed to enjoying the thing. So whatever you are doing, engross yourself in it. So if you're doing the dishes, then you think about the fork that you're cleaning right now and do a great job cleaning that fork. And so you can always bring yourself back to present with just a little bit of intention. The trick is just catching when you're not in present. So again, worried about the future, feeling regret for the past, um, and then whatever you are currently doing, whether it's playing Minecraft, washing the dishes, whatever, just focus on doing that one thing. And in that training, it starts to bring you back to doing it in the present. One thing that's helped me for present moment, I remind myself to get out of my head and presently focus on this moment now, the people around us and where we are at this moment. I'm excited to hear the meditation, Evan. Should be interesting coming from you. Yeah, dude, when I make that, when I, when I wrote it, so I listened to the track, uh, on loop and I just was in I was in meditation while I wrote it I couldn't even tell you what I wrote I was it's it's <laughs> it's one take I'm just gonna read it I'm gonna put on the track again put down some like put it put a track in audacity and then I'm gonna read it and just go with it um, but there's no editing on it it's just it's just it was free flow I was in flow I mean when you're in flow that is meditation like meditation doesn't have to be just you sitting down and, and reciting a mantra. Like every time you're in flow, that's meditation. When I, when I paused everything that I was doing to answer that question, that was meditation.